Hello everybody, this is your boy Kenneth reporting from the K2 Spot, giving y'all a brand new video and it's on the season 4 premiere of Scandal that just finished um, going off right here. Now a lot has gone down. I know we, a lot of you guys, if you're keeping up and you're glad it is like your boy right here, you know that from season 3, you know a lot went down, you know, um, Papa Pope, y'all know, had um, something to do with uh, President Fitzgerald's son being you know, killed and everything, being poisoned and everything. And, you know, they captured Mama Pope, who y'all know was played by Candy Alexander, who I love dearly. Loved her for a long time. But um, a lot of you guys know that, you know, show Scandal's starring Carrie Washington. So as Olivia Pope, the, the biggest character on the show. But season four premiere was awesome it was it was very you know it had its grieving moments but at the same time it had its action too and that's what i love about scandal which is one of my favorite shows now we're gonna start off with season four now it started off wonderful you know where everybody's saying where's olivia olivia pope at now she was on the island with her and jake played by scott foley a lot of you guys didn't know that and you know they were having a good time getting their alcohol and everything together when they were on the island and then, you know, Olivia got a um, letter. And, you know, Jake was like, who is this from? Or who is it? But, you know, she wasn't sure. But she opened it. And, you know, it was talking about Harrison. Who a lot of you guys know was played by Columbus Short. But, you know, he's not on season four. Because of personal issues he had going on. So, Her so um, you know, the character Harrison. You know, Columbus Short, if you're watching this. No but love for you. But we know. Everybody, everybody know he went through some stuff. So, we're not going to go into that. But... Justice character Harrison, it really brought the whole vibe. It was, seemed like it brought everybody back together, but it was slowly happening. Because you had, you know, the gladiators you had, besides Olivia, you had Quinn. Besides Olivia, like I said, you had Quinn, you have Huck. And then, you know, you have Abby. So, you know, Abby works for, the, first of all, Abby works for the White House with President Fitzgerald Grant, which you guys should know if you've seen it already. Or well, hopefully you guys have seen it already. And, you know, Quinn's still doing her thing. And, you know, Huck is doing, um, you know, he doing his, has another job. But, you know, he goes by Randy. But, you know, it's still Huck from what we know him as. But overall, it was, I was really, really impressed. Like, and, you know, Olivia was, you know, she could tell she was going through a lot. And you could tell, but from what I've seen, maybe I could be wrong, you guys. But look at Abby's taking it a little bit harder. Look like Abby and Olivia are taking it the hardest. Now, Quinn and Huck, they're taking it hard. Everybody's taking it hard differently, but it's just different. And then, you know, you have all the have some top secret um, people who I think are going to be some big turnouts for season four. Like, Portia de Rossi, if you guys don't know, she's married to Ellen De DeGeneres. So, I think her character name from what I heard was Liz. But I think she's going to play a pivotal character that's going to be a top secret. I think it's going to blow the gladi our, my fellow gladiators away. So, hopefully you guys keep a lookout for her. Because I know her and Cyrus, they had their dialogue. And it was crazy. And then, you know, you had Fitzgerald. You know, Fitzgerald, Grant, the president. And, you know, you had, who was played by Tony Goldwyn, the president. And, you know, his the first lady played by Bellamy Young, who plays his wife, Melly. And Melly is really going through grief, losing her son. So, you know, she's looking kind of like a little, a little hot mess-ish. But, you know, it's just a character. Bellamy Young, if you're watching this, I'm a huge fan of yours. You doing your thing, but I know playing Melly must have been a little, must have been a little different. But you really felt Melly when she was going through her son. You know, she was going through. I know people may be like, "Oh, damn, she looked busted," but Melly was going through some things. But you know, it's life. You know, some of us, everybody's different with how they grieve. So you know, I'm just like how they, Chandra Rhimes. If you're watching this creator of the show, she did an amazing job with just showing the dynamic and showing how everybody got together. But it got pretty heated between Olivia and Abby because, you know, um, Quinn was there, you know, outside, you know, the White House. But it was just like, wow, really? Did that really just happen? But other stuff that went down, you know, you had Jake who was there for Olivia. You know, Olivia met with her father. And, you know, he ordered her some red wine. You know, she liked it and everything. But, you know, he was saying, oh, you're here. But, you know, everybody should know that you're here. You know, you may set a dangerous, you know, it's dangerous that, you know, everybody knows that you're back. And, you know, Cyrus found out that she was back. So, you know, he told the president. And it was, you know, Fitz was just like, 
Well, he had to sit down on that one right there. I was like, wow. But then it got juicy on some parts. And then, you know, with um, David, who's played, who's um, Abby's man on the show. But, you know, he was one of the people that was with, um, that was one of Jake's partners. And, you know, with Cyrus and everybody. So, you know, it was just a lot going on with the season premiere. But what I found funny was that they get into a scandal in the middle of it. Just for the name of the show, so you're not to plug that in with Scandal. With um, the governor named Sterling. And he had a, um, his, it looked like from what it was shown, his wife, um, had, had like, through self-defense, had hurt him. Because he fell, had a big nasty fall down, um, his, in his house. But really, he was, he, he, he was considered a rapist. So, you know, he was a little, he was a rapist, but it was one of his people that he, you know, one of the people that represented him. Our state secretary, her name was Kate, found out that she was the one that, um, he assaulted her. I think sexually assaulted her. And, you know, she, at first she was kind of quiet, but they made it look like it was his wife that it was. But Olivia figured that out when she called the, um, called on Kate's phone. And I was like, damn, like Olivia figured that out quickly. Because they figured out, because, you know, her and Quinn had the dialogue and talking about, oh, this was going on. He had a type of dark hair, you know brunettes and you know with dark I think it was dark brown eyes or dark I think dark brown eyes from what I was told but I know it was just like wow really and then you know the the secretary case she um admitted it and you know it just went to that and then you know they showed right when they was going to that they showed Harrison's funeral and you know it was just a great thing and just I like how they played the music they were playing Aretha Franklin's version of Bridge Over Tr Troubled Waters it was when Aretha did it back in the day, not what we seen from up now from the live performance, but from back in the day when she first uh, recorded it. But it was good seeing all the gladiators together, and it was just it was it was a very touching moment. Just when they got the rose petals and it was saying goodbye to Harrison, and then you know you seen Papa Pope in the limousine, like he up with something, he gonna come up with something. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that, but I know it's something gonna come up. And then you also have the dialogue with Melly and. Her husband, the president, Fitz, Fitz, Fitzgerald Grant, and you know they had to talk about. It. She said, "When have you seen Olivia?" He said, "He said Olivia. Is that your mistress? Is mistress?" She said, "No, she's she's back. Have you seen her? No, but she said if you see her, you know, you're gonna let me know. And, you know, he was just like, if I see her, I don't. I'm not gonna see her. But we all know what's gonna happen with that. But overall, you guys, it's gonna be crazy. Olivia's back." And she's back in that gladiator mode, like Olivia Pope, you know, and Associates. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But it looks like it's going to be a great season four. So if you guys um, want to keep up with Scandal, let me let, just let you guys know. Scandal comes on now. It's on a new time now. It's not 10 o'clock anymore like it was before. It's 9 o'clock p.m. on ABC on Thursday night. So just so just in case you guys want to mark that down, Thursday night, it's 9 o'clock p.m. on ABC. And if you want to keep up the show Scandal, you can follow them on Twitter and Instagram at ScandalABC, which is all one word. And hopefully you guys keep up with it because it's one of my favorite shows. And you know, if you have, if you missed it, and because your boy is so good, BT will re-air the season four premiere October 10th. So just in case if you guys didn't know that. So hopefully you guys keep up with it on ABC. It comes on ABC, 9 o'clock p.m., on Thursday nights, and if you want to keep up with your boy right here, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at K2s. The show that you're watching the K2 Spot, it does have a Twitter page at K2 Spot. And for all my gladiators, everybody can shout out to Carrie Washington, um, you know, just the whole cast, Tony Goldwyn, Bellamy Young, those are my three favorite characters on the show. Everybody who's part of Scandal, especially, um, I think it's Judy Smith, I hope I said her name right. Who's one of the creators? So shout out to everybody. If you guys are gladiators and you love Scandal, and I hopefully I explained it well for you guys and made you want to watch Scandal. Because if you guys haven't seen Scandal, watch season one, two, three. That way you catch up with season four that's that kind of that came out. Make sure you guys thumbs up the video by liking this video. Make sure you share the video. Make sure you comment. After you guys heard, you seen, I'm not sorry, heard, but after you've seen the season four premiere. Write down what you guys thought about the season four premiere. Did you think it was pretty good? Did it, you know, did it touch you on some parts? You know, let me be honest with me after you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, don't comment on it. But if you have seen the season four premiere, definitely comment. Let me know what you guys think about it because I definitely want to hear your feedback. 
And make sure you subscribe to YouTube, this K2 Spot YouTube channel. Push the subscribe button down here, or you just go up here. You can subscribe to your boy right here, because you guys will get the honest truth from your boy right here. And I keep it 100. So, like I said, you guys have a blessed one. Hopefully, you got all the scandal fans. This gave you more life and made you feel more fulfilled that I reviewed it for you guys. So, this is your boy Ken of Sign Up from the K2 Spot. So, have a blessed one, everybody. So, peace.